Hey guys. All right. Uh, we have a cylinder head here today that I want to go over and uh, express the importance of checking and measuring everything. So this head came in on a motor that had just been rebuilt, not by us, by someone in their garage. And it had run on the dyno and on the first oil change, they noticed metal shavings in the engine and they shipped it up here. We tore it apart and at first glance did not notice anything you know, immediately wrong with it. We came up with some theories as to where the shavings had come from. One thing we did notice is that the cam journals were slightly messed up and they are here somewhere, the cam shafts. Uh, well, I think they're in that box, but um, so the journals were a little messed up. Not a big deal. Didn't know how old they were. Uh, bought some new OEM camshafts from Mazda, so here they are, brand new, never been installed, never been run, everything looks good. Uh, dropped them in the head, and we do a check when we build a head. So we, before we put the valves in, we oil up all of the journals, lay the camshaft in, torque everything down to spec, and we have a torque value that you have to twist the camshaft. It needs to be able to spin with a you know, uh, maximum torque to get it to spin. And they did rotate, but it was it was above our minimum, and it took it took a little bit of effort. And it was very deceptive because once you got it going, it was okay. But every time you let it sit and went to you know, turn the cam gear, just just a little bit stiffer than than what it should be. Took the cams out and did some measuring, and found that despite the bottom of this head measuring completely flat, the head itself is actually warped. And what we think happened is that the head got warped on a previous use, previous engine back in the day. And uh, someone had decked it to make the bottom flat, but they didn't correct the issue that the head was warped. <clears throat> so what we found is that the exhaust side is actually warped this way. The center bearing is 5 thou higher than the ends. And the intake is somehow warped like a snake. So this one's, you can see 1 thou that way, 2 thou that way, 3 thou that way, and then that was your datum point. So it's not a lot, it's repairable. We have to we can cut the caps down and rebore the, the, the line, but it, it's off just enough because um, you think about it, your bearing clearance for the cams is about two to three thou. So if it's one thou off and one thou off, it will fit in there and spin, but you're not going to have any of uh, the correct bearing clearance going on. Um, so who knows how this head came to be this way? Um, but if you're not checking this stuff, it would be totally possible to assemble this and throw it back in the car and not notice. And I'm, we're starting to think that that's where our, some of our metal shavings were coming from, was the camshafts eating the journals as they went along. And some of it was definitely bits of the camshaft itself ending up in the pan. Uh, so, yes, uh, it, it always pays off to measure, measure, measure. Um, so we have a different head for this motor now, uh, and we're going through and doing the same process on this one. This one's looking good. Everything checked out just fine, so we went ahead and got it decked. Um, and we'll come back to what that head, what's going to happen to that head when we're done here. But uh, so yeah, this thing's going to make some serious power when we're done with it. Eleven to one compression. All right, so that's your tech tip for today: measure, measure, measure. And um, uh, the easiest way, again, the way that we check these before we do the, the complicated part of measuring is stick your camshaft in there, torque it all down, and get a torque reading off the front. It should be, you know, very, very minimal effort to rotate that cam around by hand. If you can't spin it by hand, don't stick a wrench on it. Something's not right. Either you got a cam cap flipped, or in this, like in this case, the head has been warped, and it could have been warped for a long time, and someone has been running it incorrectly. So, always assume the parts are bad until you verify that they're good.